Now it's the families of the hostages being held by Hamas in Gaza that are appealing to the ICC, filing complaints of war crimes against the terror group's leaders. A delegation of the family members left this morning for the Netherlands. Here's what some of them had to say before taking off from Ben Gurion Airport. They pay for the crimes that they've committed and are still committing, taking our families hostage. We want to see them take out warrants and make sure that the leaders of Hamas are taken into custody or that they cannot leave Qatar anymore and that this puts pressure on them to release the hostages. We are going to ICC at AG to demand indictment for the head of the Hamas. We are sure that we'll get it, and the heads of the Hamas will know that every place in the world, they will be under pressure. This is the reason we go there. Well, for more, let's go to the Netherlands and speak with Chris Den Hot, Lee, who leads the chapter in the Netherlands of the Forum of Families of the Missing and Abducted. He's also the chairman of the Jewish community in Rotterdam, secretary of the Jewish Foundation for Jewish Life there. He speaks to us this evening, I believe, though, from Amsterdam. Uh, Chris, thank you for joining us. Tell us about this effort and maybe also your view on what chances it might have to succeed there uh, at the ICC, which uh, hasn't been a sympathetic forum for for Israel uh, generally? Well, uh, that's that's one of the reasons is because uh, Israel doesn't recognize the, uh, recognize the court. Um, talk, talking about the efforts, um, I organized the first meeting with a delegation of family members back uh, in October 31st, where we met with Prosecutor Khan uh, and with the families. And we had like a, a couple of hours discussion with him. He was very... Um, interested to to learn the stories and his feedback was you know i want to go and see for myself uh what happened there and i want to get the testimony of the people that are affected um so i can take them in the the ongoing investigation so that started uh, um, back in october uh, at first the israeli government was was kind of hesitant but luckily the forum uh, picked it up uh, and went with it, uh, and I'm happy that it resolved today in, yes, he did visit Israel, and yes, he uh, did get all the testimonies, and, and I think he's serious about, you know, really looking into them deep, and if it if it comes to a prosecution, that I'm, I'm um, confident that he will take that on. Right now, even if it, it doesn't come to a even a legal opinion, we don't know. Maybe just talk about the at least just the public in, in the terms of public diplomacy, the impact of those families there going to the ICC and saying, no, you have to look. It's not you can't. It's just when we're talking about war crimes, you have to turn the focus away from Israel and not focus on what was done, especially on October 7th by Hamas. You know, it's, it's it's very important for two reasons. A, because the, the, the focus has turned away in Europe, especially, but, but for sure in the Netherlands, uh, from the hostages to, to, you know, the nowadays news. Uh, so it's important to bring it back to the attention to get the, 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 all the international TV crews being there, uh, having them report on that. So that's, that's for one important. The second thing is important is, you know, uh, uh, justice doesn't work one way it works both ways and justice needs to be done in this case Right. I, you know, you mentioned the Netherlands. I want to ask you about that. Uh, historically, a country that has had strong ties with Israel. Uh, but we have seen, uh, for example, uh, this uh, recent court decision just this week, I believe, uh, calling on the government to stop selling uh, uh, jet fighter par plane, uh, uh, parts for jet fighter uh, planes to uh, Israel. Uh, we've seen uh, Mark Rutte, the prime minister here this week, uh, calling on Israel to cease its operations in Gaza. So talk about that situation in the Netherlands, uh, which also, we should know, also has a very significant uh, Muslim population now, and how that may have impacted uh, the situation. Well, absolutely. On the one hand, I think that, that our prime minister, our government, has been very supportive of Israel and has brought every time they brought the hostages to the attention. Uh, our prime minister was the very first prime minister to receive a delegation of the families. Uh, so they're very po positive, but yet, of course, they get pressure, international pressure, internal pressure uh, to push uh, for for whatever, for, for a ceasefire. Uh, um, so, yeah, you 
you see the momentum um, is slipping. On the other hand, we did have elections here, and although a coalition has not been formed, that will also impact the way going forward. And I'm pretty confident that um, whatever comes about, a new government will also be supportive uh, and hopefully as supportive as, as uh, the government has been in the beginning uh, since 7 October uh, until very recently. Uh, as for the, the, the case against uh, delivering F-35 parts to Israel, um, they're going to appeal that. There's a lot of uh, misunderstanding uh, on the case. There's a lot of uh, people are upset about the outcome of the case, because if you look into it, uh, a lot of the evidence that was collected is not impartial evidence. It's actually evidence taken from the UN, which we can say is hardly impartial uh, anymore. So um, I'm confident, as a lot of my political contacts, that a higher appeal will turn that around. But again, uh, it is a sign on the wall, and hopefully it's not a, a direction that we're going to go. So my feeling says that, you know, that's going to be corrected. And as for political pressure, you know, there's always a time uh, uh, that comes that um, might not be as favorable as we would like them to be.